Hi, I'm David from Cronus Audiovisual, and today in the video review diaries, we want to do things a little bit differently. We're normally just focusing on one product, but often we're asked for our opinion on products. And what we thought was, um, we look at three loudspeakers, all which cost less, or 10,000 pounds or slightly less, um, to sort of give you a little bit of an overview on different speakers, different models, uh, because you know, hi-fi is not a one-size-fits-all and there's always going to be situations where certain customers want particular features or want a particular sound and every loudspeaker in particular um, sounds different and there are issues with speakers that you don't have with electronics for example rooms and um, how the system interacts in a room whereas electronics isn't really affected by that so what we've got is three of the most popular speakers that we have in the sub £10,000 price point. So uh, you'll obviously see we've got two floor standards and a stand mount. Um, a lot of people will say £10,000 for a stand mount speaker is a lot of money, but you know, it really depends on the room. I mean, a lot of rooms, you can't accommodate a floor stand speaker because the room will interact with the speaker once it goes below a certain uh, frequency point. So often stand mounts are a better option and they have other advantages, like they generally image better than floor standing speakers. Some people just prefer the sound of a stand mount speaker to a floor stander, depending on the music you listen to. So um, let's look at the three speakers. If I go from um, left to right, um, this is the Martins. Uh, this is the Oscar Trio, which is the entry level floor stander in the Martins range, really. Um, the speaker comes in at exactly 9,000. Um, as you can see, it's a beautifully finished speaker. It comes in piano black. Uh, lacquer comes in piano white and also one wood finish. Um, as I say, it's a pretty looking speaker, has great uh, bass extension for its size. And you'll notice if I come around to the front and point out that um, the drivers that they use are from a German company called Accutin. The tweeter ceramic, as are the two, as the mid range um, bass units as well. It's sort of a two and a half way speaker because you've actually got these are both mid range bass units and uh, the tweeter. Um, this particular speaker, for example, very, very popular with people who are looking for a speaker that is very punchy, goes very low on the bass, um, very dynamic sounding loudspeaker. Um, but you need to be a little bit careful with your choice of electronics because it's a little bit more difficult to drive. Um, so it doesn't really suit things like valve amplifiers. And the ceramic tweeter is very detailed, but you need to be careful because it can sound a little bit bright or toppy when used with the wrong electronics. There's certainly no problem with the with the sound when you, when you match it carefully with electronics. So um, there are always going to be pros and cons with any one of these speakers. So if we look at the middle speaker, um, this is a brand that you may not be that familiar with. This is Boronson, a brand we've just recently taken on. Um, this is um, part of uh, three product ranges from Audio Group Denmark. Um, Audio Group Denmark is quite an exciting company because they brought together a pile of the top European designers um, and put them all into literally into one uh, company. So this is the Boronson Z1, which is their entry level speaker. Um, retails at 9999, so just comes in some below the £10,000 price point. Um, you'll see it's a two way design. But the, the, the tweeter is a, an AMT ribbon um, with a composite um, mid-range bass unit. Um, this is a speaker that, that um, is a little bit like the Audio Vector beside it in that it uses an AMT ribbon tweeter. Um, but they use some very, very um, exciting technology in the cabinet to uh, remove um, vibration. Um, the speaker sits on a special stand, which at the moment, Bornson are doing free of charge with the speaker until the 31st of December. Um, the stand normally retails for two and a half thousand, so that's a very good buy at the minute. Um, but it also sits on ball bearings and it's isolated really cleverly. So again, uh, Bornson believe that the isolation of the loudspeaker is key to it producing the best sound. So. This speaker would, wouldn't give you obviously as much bass as the Martins or the Audio Vector over here, but what it does is it has an amazingly natural, sweet, high frequency unit. 
and it images incredibly well. Um, so for a lot of people, that's a that's a really good selling point. If we come over to the Audio Vector R3 already, which quite a few customers will be familiar with, Audio Vector's a very popular speaker with us. This speaker comes in at 87. Uh, 25 uh, in the standard finishes, but about nine and a half thousand with some of the more special gloss finishes that you can get. Um, again, this is a popular speaker. It's quite compact for a floor stander. Um, fires down in the base, so it's less fussy about room placement than some other floor standers. Um, like the Barnson uses an AMT ribbon tweeter, which a lot of people like because it gives you a more natural, warmer sound in the high frequency without losing information. And again, they're using carbon fiber drivers, which are very fast, very punchy sound. So the speaker is generally quite dynamic, a little bit easier to drive than the Martin. So it's a little bit less fussy with, um, uh, with your um, choice of electronics. I, I should point out also on the Borenson, the Borensons are also quite hard to drive, but they are designed to work with the um, AVIC range of electronics, which are quite powerful. Um, that's not to say you can't use other equipment with them, of course you can, but they're a little bit harder to drive than um, some other speakers. So you'll see there, with the three different speakers, they all have pluses and minuses. There is no perfect loudspeaker. And this is where I think it's important to go to a specialized dealer who understands not only what will work, but understands speaker design and, and, and what the pros and cons of various speakers can do. Um, so hopefully this video will give you even just a little bit of information about the three different models and the three different companies. Um, yeah, I suppose the other thing is that that's interesting is all three of these speaker designs are Scandinavian, which is just happens to be the situation. There are other speakers that we do that aren't Scandinavian, um, but these are interesting. So um, hope you get the opportunity to come and have a listen to these in our store. And if you've got any questions or you'd like any further advice, please. Uh, feel free to contact us. Thanks very much for watching.